Bo Dallas came out to issue an open challenge, which was accepted by the returning Ryback, who is now back as a babyface. He had his babyface theme music, where they put all the little sound things back in there, where he says, feed me more, which they had taken out, if you remember. Uh, he had, you know, he had his feed me more chance, his pyro, everything that they had stripped away from him as a heel. And it's not the first time we've seen them do that. They did that to Damian Sandow. Uh, they did it a little bit to Del Rio, you know, when they took the cars and all that away. They take these heels and they strip them of everything that helped get them over in the first place. Or in terms of Ryback, he was a babyface, so I guess the idea was he's a heel, we don't want people to cheer for him, but, you know, Ryback as a heel never worked the way that Ryback as a babyface did. So they gave him all that stuff back. He got loud Feed Me More chants from the crowd. He basically squashed poor Bo, finished him off with the shell shock, and, you know, a lot of people are wondering, you know, could this be a kind of a second... A second chance for Ryback. A second chance at life. Could this be the rebirth of the Ryback character? Could he be pushed into a main event position? I said a long time ago that Ryback was dead. They killed him. Whatever they had with him was killed dead. Uh, I don't see Ryback ever getting back to that position again. But that doesn't mean that Ryback can't be over as an upper mid-card babyface on the roster. And God knows they can use more guys like that right now. Brian ain't coming back anytime soon. Reigns is probably out until January. They need guys like that. And it was really cool to see Ryback come out, and it was almost like we were back in a time warp to last year, or, or the year before. I guess it would have been the year before, where he was just massively over and the people were into him. I didn't notice anybody chanting Goldberg at him, which is amazing. You get that in every Ryback match, and I'm sure we'll we'll get it again. Uh, I mean, after all, this this is a crowd that cheered John Cena, so a little bit of an aberration there. But for one night anyway, it was almost like we were back in time. And if you saw the interview that Ryback did for WWE.com with, with Eden uh, when he went backstage... He got all emotional, he got very teary-eyed, he was talking about a lot of shit that he's been through and how he was a bad person, he was in a bad place, he was treating people like crap and that's not right. It seemed very much genuine and heartfelt and of course the sort of thing that they won't show on TV. Because why should they? Why should they show something like that for us to get more sympathy for the big guy? I would be stunned if they put that on television, even though they should. So I'm uh, I'm pulling for Ryback. I hope he can get back at least some of that magic he had before, but I don't ever see him getting back to that level again. I just don't see it. I think whatever they had with him, they squandered it. Uh, call it poor timing, you know, the stuff with Punk, and they couldn't take the title off Punk. And, you know, it was a no-win situation for Ryback, and it goes back to that Hell in a Cell match with Punk when Brad Maddox low-blowed him, and he, he got pinned for the first time, and he was never the same after that. And then, of course, after that, He lost every single pay-per-view match he was in. WrestleMania, he's got Mark Henry over his head, and Mark Henry falls on him, and he loses to Mark Henry. It was just one bad move with him after another. Uh, And I I just don't see him getting back to that level, but that doesn't mean you can't make something out of him as a single single star, as a babyface. I think there's something there with Ryback. Uh, 